Yeah! Right there! Look at that! Kitty! Uh, look how long her tail is. I know some of you may have seen her before. That's PewDiePie. Not like the dog on uh, Jabuscus, but whatever. Her name is actually uh, Fall. First, yeah, her name is Fall, but we call her PewDiePie because she's such a cutie pie. But anyway, her tail's really short because her mom chewed it off when she was a kitten. Her mom, that was actually her second litter, and her mom didn't know what she was doing. Anyway, she was born Halloween night, and winter was born the day after. Just wanted to like, show you guys another video of the tank, because now the lights are on, you can see it. And uh, some of the people like to scrub their, their rocks and stuff in their tanks to keep them clean and shiny. I don't, because it's actual... Uh, what do you call it? Useful bacteria, aka algae. It's part of what makes the habitat safe for the for the animals. They live here. This is their home. It's just like if you were to go down to a slough or a river and stick your hand in the water and feel the rocks, they're kind of slimy because there's bacteria living on it that help things. Well, that's what all that is, because that skull is almost white, it's supposed to be, but. It's got all that nice bacteria and culture living on it, so that's why she. That's why they look as aged and dirty as they are. There's one of uh, Sarah's zebras. There's zebras back there. Big guy. You can kind of see him. Oh, I'm gonna scare him. The TV's kind of reflecting on the tank, but I'll see if I can get him to come over here. He's actually really, really big. Surprisingly. There's upper view. Don't hold your cell phone above the tank. Okay. Now, one of their favorite things that they like to eat. I won't show the brand, but your cat treats. The soft ones, chewables. But let's see if we can get Sarah's big fish to come over here. We'll entice him with some numbs. There he is. There's the big guy. Can we get one? Here you are. See, he doesn't look like it, but that guy right there, he is... If I put my hand right next to him, you can see... Like, my hand's right up against the glass. He's right there. He is at least a foot long. Like, from my... Halfway up my forearm to the tip of his tail is a foot long. He's a big big fish I used to have lobster in here I actually used to have a couple lobsters but you know they died time goes by not like big big you know giant uh, lobsters that you see at the store and stuff like that but you know just one's about six inches long like little freshwater lobsters just little guys but I want to show you guys a better picture of Tony as I call him fat Tony like you can oh, it's gonna bang you can see the size of him he is like right up against the glass. If you can see, he's not far away from my hand. There's my hand. There's the tip of his nose. See, halfway up my forearm. He is big. And his mouth will actually open up about that wide. You can see how it sticks out a little bit there? Like when it pops out? Well, it'll open up about that wide. I've seen, he does it all the time on the side of the glass. He sees his reflection. And right now he's a little scared, so he kind of looks like one color almost. You can just ba barely see the stripes. You see the guy back there, how he's darker, and how this guy's darker? Because they're not intimidated. They know their place. He's the biggest fish in the tank, so he feels threatened because I'm over here. So he's trying to blend in because he's like, oh, that guy's a predator, and I can't take him out. So I'm just going to try to look submissive. That's their confident look. When they're comfortable and they feel safe, they look dark like that. But when they're afraid, they kind of get pale. Same with the pleco. You can see the food still floating around. They're just eating. But that little pleco there, little tank scrubbers, love those guys. I've had a few of them. Uh, when they get afraid and stressed out, they get quite translucent as well. Like like him, like right about in here. And he'll get quite white and have like blotches and patches on him. And when he's happy like he is now, you can kind of see him. Not really because I get reflections of stuff. But he will be nice and dark like he is right there and yes his uh, main sail is a little beat up 
but they heal actually quite fast. That happens. My other ones are always tearing their fins because they, well, they're they're aggressive. They won't chase other fish, but they also won't take any grief from anything either. They're they're bullies. They are like they, they do their thing. Hey, that's Riddick. He's one of my old comics. They're a convict. I can't remember their actual names. I don't know the actual names. I know he's a pleco. I don't know. I don't think he's a Florida pleco like ones I used to have. But yeah, there's a length view of the tank. I'm watching. Oh, it's a commercial. Cheese commercial. But this tank is six feet long. It's about almost half an inch thick glass. The tank itself, the glass, not with the sand, but just the just the aquarium. When it's empty, is about 400 pounds. And a tank, the water in a tank, for every 10 gallons of water is 100 pounds. And this is 125 gallon. So if you do the math, this tank, without stand, just the glass with the water that's in there, that's like 1,200 pounds, I believe. I could be wrong. I know it's all... I know it's like about half a ton, it's over half a ton of water, of weight. It's heavy. But, you know, big fish, big tank. Yeah, he's huge. Love that guy. When we got him, he was like about that big. Now he's like, you know. I wish I had a tape measure handy. I'd show you. Um, here, some of you might know this one. Here's a typical remote. Yeah, you can see how big the cat is. See? But as long as a cat. Big Tony. See, it's the same length as the fish. Tip to tip. And yeah. So, oh, I wish I had a comparison. Ah, here we go. SCX 10 box. We all know what these are. Here's that same remote. You can see the length of it. It's almost as width of a dingo box or the jeep both of these were sarah's and there's sarah's lunch box if you know the lunch box there you go you see this shining there that fish is damn near the length of a lunch box probably as long as the body is yeah so if you were stuck out in the forest and you're fishing he would be a good meal oh yeah fry that sucker up Gee, look at that big ass it's a big ass fish. These guys want to play too now. They're like, what are you doing? Nothing. Want to come and look? Come say hi? Big Tony. He doesn't take shit from anybody. But yeah, there you go, guys. Now the tank looks all dirty with all this crap floating around because these guys are eating and making a mess. I gotta get another lobster for in here. You're aggressive, aren't you? I gotta get another lobster, so... Oh, look. We have a resident. They live in there. There's a couple that live in the in the skull. By couple, yes, I mean partner. Male and female fish. 90% of these small baby... Or these small convicts were actually born in this tank. And a lot of them were actually that guy's, because he lives on this side of the tank. They're his babies. Him and his female, and I think his female died, but you know, that's what happens. But anyway, there you go. Big fish, big fish. Okay, guys, see, look, fish coming out of the skull. And the tank will be clear in about, you know, an hour. I'll clean up. See, fish hiding everywhere. Fish hiding everywhere. It's probably about. 30 convicts in there. It's like a prison. And that's the warden. He owns that side of the tank. From here to there, which is about three feet of the tank, is his home. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. If not, too bad. And if you did, sweet. Say hi, Tony. Say hi, fat Tony. Later, guys.